welcome to video 9 and I'm uh, doing the voice recording over the video this time there was so much noise going on outside this week that uh, it was made it impossible so anyway don't forget to subscribe click the link below and you won't miss any of the uh, next videos on building the blue nose uh, the channel's building quite nicely now we're nearly up to 500 subscribers so thank you all for that um, we're just drilling the um, lower beam shelf here uh, to put the pins in. Um, if you remember I did the Keelson and I put two pins in each frame and I left the heads on which looked a little bit big but they're okay. So this time I'm just putting one on each frame and taking the heads off. And they do look better actually. Uh, 0.6 of a millimetre drill bit one to number two broke one and they keep coming loose as well hard to grip such a small drill anyway we'll crack on with this and see how we go I'll not film all of it because uh, it took me ages it took me nearly two days just to uh, drill these and put them in So I've got those fitted, all pinned, and we're ready now, I think, to come on to put the actual beams in, the lower beams, you can see them here. And I'm just going to note there's a couple of gaps. There's two beams at the front, then a gap, and then there's a gap in the middle. So start with those, they're on three different boards. All the boards are laid out on the plans, they're all numbered. It's this hardwood again, this uh, wild pear. Anyway, you don't need to see me cutting all these out. So I've got two cut out, um, the next problem was all the, uh, the black, all the burnt bit around the edges, uh, finding the best way of getting all this off. So I did start with this uh, round sander that I made, that didn't work very well. And I got the block out, tried that. Oh, 
worked okay but couldn't get it very even and it's surprising how deep it goes and it's all got to come off otherwise it'll spoil the finish anyway I worked away that for a while Eventually I got them clean, but it did take a while. I found an easy way later on, I got the drill out. Just had to be careful with it, put it on a low speed and it worked okay. Anyway, we need to put them in the boat now. So it's a tweezer job and a cocktail stick for the glue and they stick onto the front face of the beams and obviously onto the beam shelf. Cocktail stick's best for this because you can control it better, just put you need a little drop. does actually touch the keelson which is why I put a little drop it's got to be said it is um, a very narrow boat and narrow model and it's quite difficult working in the bow section I don't know why I put that blob of glue in the middle there because I'm sure it doesn't touch the keelson on that one. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Now this is where it shows if you've got your beam shelves in level. Hopefully I have. There we go, first two in. Now I've just got to cut all these others out and continue. Just check the plan, which shows you on here on the photograph. Like I said, there's a gap so we miss one now and then go to the next let's speed things up again shall we
And that's the last one going in for this group. Near the top of the screen there's some more to cut out yet. But that's the last one of these. I think they went in alright. Pretty good. I'm going to clean off the glue. So we can give you a cathedral view. There you go. Looks okay. Happy with that so far? Good. So although they're all numbered, all the ribs there on the plan, they don't actually correspond to what's on the on the sheets there. It's just one sheet follows the other um, on the plan. They're just grouped together. So you just got to check on the contents list that you get the right one. Why did that? Just showing again the inside. Quite pleased with it. So I've got all the rest in. Just the last two. Just give them a little uh, sand up uh, with some fine, fine grit. Was a bit of an edge on them after because uh, I said I sanded these with the drill. I got the drill out, the mini drill, and the little sanding wheel. It was a lot quicker, it worked okay, uh, but it just left a bit of a burr on the edges. So just a little bit of uh, fine grit just to go over them all. It took quite a lot of getting in, but. Uh, that's them in now. There's some blocks and bits and pieces to go in the bottom of the hole, and then we'll be on to the uh, the main deck beams. Looking forward to putting those in, and then we're getting close to. Uh, I think there's the deck to go on part of the deck because it's a cutaway, and then uh, we'll be taking it out of the jig. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But that will be next week. That's about it for this week. Just checking everything's in line. Clean up the last bits of glue. You can see there my uh, magnifying glasses. They are good. Those lenses they just slot in. Like I said, there's a box of I think there's six lenses I think in total. Brilliant. They're not that expensive. Just do a search on Amazon. last one going in again don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you won't miss any of these and it helps build the channel um, I'm 
I'm hoping that uh, once I get the blue nose built, uh, it'll be another big flagship of some sort. I've put the Victor up for sale, but uh, it's not cheap. Whether it sells or not, I'm not that bothered. But uh, it'd be nice to build a channel so we can um, we can get one of the, another one of the big models like the Victory, maybe Sovereign of the Seas or something like that. That'd be good. I think that's the last one just going in. I'm going to be treating all this, uh, I've decided on the, the finish I'm going to use is uh, tongue oil. So I need to make sure I get all the glue off. It's showing everywhere, otherwise it'll show up. Um, the thing about tongue oil is, apparently, because I've never used it, I've heard good reports about it for, as far as the finish is concerned, but I believe that once you've put it on, nothing sticks to it. So you've got to make sure all the construction work's done first. Otherwise you won't be able to uh, fasten anything to it after that. But it's supposed to give a very good finish. So there we are. That's all the lower beams in. Hopefully next week we'll have those bits and pieces in the bottom and then a the cathedral view again as they call it. Yeah, looks good. We'll have all those um, blocks in the bottom and we can start uh, start fitting the main beams. So uh, subscribe and come back and join us then. And thanks for watching this one. Bye for now.